film in Douglas using creativity to cope with the tragic shooting back in February. Some of the survivors created Camp Shine, where participants used the arts to help with the healing process. Local 10 News reporter Carlos Suarez has the story. <laughs> Sawyer Garrity and Andrea Peña spent their summer helping classmates cope with the trauma of Parkland, a kind of healing that encourages creativity. In the days after the massacre, the two turned to music, writing and composing the song Shine. After performing the song at a town hall and at the March for Our Lives in D.C., the girls co-founded Shine MSD, a nonprofit that put on a free summer camp for MSD students. I think art is kind of like the basis of how we feel and how we think, and it just allows us to express ourselves in ways that we didn't know was possible. The girls teamed up with therapists who work in the arts to offer students a chance at expressing themselves in a painting or on an instrument or as an actor on a stage. Three two-week sessions were held with more than 30 students taking part in the therapy. Doing the camp right now is super um, important because within the first six months is the best time to uh, reach out to victims and get them to into some sort of therapy and open up. Manuel Oliver used graffiti class as a way to honor his son Joaquin, who was killed in the shooting. The camp also allowed graduates a way to give back to Parkland. That's the main message of the song. That's what we want to give back. So using that foundation and channeling it into something that we can give back to our community was just like the goal for me, and I feel like we've accomplished that. Sawyer and Andrea are already planning next year's summer camp. If you'd like to donate to Shine MSD, head over to local10.com.